Okay, I think I've set everything up. I have my food. Hence why I did not straight up answer you when you sent that message. It was a good thing that it's only been a couple of minutes because I was I was a bit worried. I was like, should I get food now or should I wait until after we're oh, done? Okay. So I was like, you know, I'll get food now. So when I came back, I, I hear silence. I was like, did he end it the stream? Did he? Uh, oh no, did he wait too long? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I started. Yeah, all the time. Yes, I started the recording. So if my mouse is not moving too much, um, it's freezing at times. I see that they put okay. the is is that the pyro archon on the thumbnail? With copy. I feel like that was the pyro archon on the, on the thumbnail of the video with Capitano. Mm. So this is basically like the overture teaser for for um, Fontaine last year. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So yeah, we're recording, right? Yeah, I I, I make sure I'm record. I might let, I'm gonna go check again. Oh, okay, okay. No, <laughs> just no, no I just want to know. Okay. You're, like, you're just yeah. watching or you're actually recording? Okay. I I am re I have start the recording. I ain't doing this without recording. That's all I can say. Okay. Okay. So, I will say I am a bit nervous. I show no interest in 4.8. One, because I'm basically dead. I didn't sleep. <laughs> Two, I just, I don't know what to say. Like, I will say the world, uh, the world in 4.8 there, it is cool. Like, we're basically in a toy land in a way. Yeah, toy land. Toy land. Paper flying squirrels, giant mechanical dragon that wants to destroy the whole place. A flying train. I don't know where that came from. I totally don't know where. That, I don't know. I've never seen one before. Mm. It's amazing. Never heard of it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. A flying train. I've never seen one before. <laughs> but what I'm w mm. most worried about is, we have three ladies and wanderer, right? The three ladies are all yes. happy-go-lucky ladies, and then there's just wanderer. Wanderer. <laughs> Cat guy, <laughs> as they said. Yeah, we have three um, three bundles of joy, and then there's just the emo one on the corner there. Mm -hmm. This is fun. So, should I be worried about what's going to happen here? With me, worried how? I uh, no, I feel like I should be worried. But about what? I don't know. Something in me is basically saying that something's about to happen, and. I'm gonna be possibly worried about. I mean, this is the nation of war, Dad. Wars are bound to happen someplace or another. Then again, as if there's never been wars in the other nations that we've been to. I mean, yeah, but like we see conflict everywhere in this game. We just so happen to be in the, uh, running into in the middle of the conflict. Like we just arrived here. Yeah. It's like you're going to jail. It's like, are you kidding me? We just arrived here. I wonder what 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 are we gonna be charged for this time? I mean, we charged for we we're so we're charged for te uh, theft in Mondstadt. We're charged as assassins in Liowa. We 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 literally screwed up in Inazuma, so we're basically um, enemies. And then yeah. uh, we're a threat in Sumeru. <laughs> and the, it was like. Like the first time we went to actually prison, aka solitary confinement. Yeah, just yeah, I went there uh, because we needed to. So it was our choice this time, or yeah. last time to reset. I feel like even if they caught us, they would actually throw us in jail. Like even if we, like be like if if we ever get caught beforehand, I'm pretty sure we <laughs> it would happen. And then I'm in in Fontaine. Five minutes into Fontaine. You are under arrest for br for bringing a flying object, there. which is illegal. Illegal. God dang it. <laughs> and yeah, then we oh, we boy. got thrown in jail for eating Farina's cake, apparently. Yeah. That which is also our choice because we were looking for child. Yeah. I wonder what's on on us this time. Like, what 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 kind of nonsense they're gonna throw at us? Yeah. Maybe some more crime. Who knows? <laughs> it's always us in jails. What is with us in jails? I'm surprised there's well, 
I feel like the only bounty we have is the bounty between us and the, and the Fatui. But other than that, we have no bounty. At least not anymore. We had one in Inazuma. Yeah. It's gone. I hope so. Okay. So, I guess this is the first full on... Well, actually, no, this is the second because we had the small teaser in um, 4.8. So, mm -hmm. so this, is a, yeah. this is the second one where we got a, a bit of a bigger picture. So, three, two, one... Kachina will now release the ball to promote the upcoming tournament. The oh! Wait, I love everyone's point. Remember hey, it. that's too close. Huh? Oh, great. <laughs> so cute. Alright, right, yeah, I like that one. Point. Too far! Whatever the thing is, they already told me when I saw it. I choked when I saw her. And I, when I saw is her, I didn't fuck you. Yes, I Oh. Hi. The tournament. Tournament? I wonder if she's watching. She? Oh! part of the recording for this is going to be a very loud audio from the video. <laughs> I say her hair is very okay. pretty. Time to burn again. Even the tiniest of sparks will not go unnoticed. Did you catch everything? What the? Whoa. What? What our eyes see ought to be our fate. But now, close your eyes and feel. I can't wait to see what Pyro Traveler For with is. our blood, we will forge our true Oh, Pyro Traveler. I'm building all travelers, Daddy. She remembers. I'm building everyone. So Pyro Traveler. Oh, no, I know, I know. I I'm just curious what she's going to do after after Hydro. Mm. Ability wise. I was like people have been making memes with Hydro Traveler anyways. Because we're just tossing little bubble waters at, at our enemies. But so far we still have mm -hmm. yet to have a full-on healer traveler. Like, I guess she can control seven elements while well, soon. We're getting our sixth one soon. But at least have one, like, a full healer in a way. 
Even though that's kind of technically not going to work because she is more of a warrior than a healer. I mean, Hydro Traveler, if you have her at E6, so, <coughs> C6, she is a bit of a healer to herself. Yeah, Animal Traveler kinda. is also a bit of a healer, actually. Hmm. Hmm. So. Also, they have all the names on the description, and I have all their pictures just so I know who is which, at least. Ah. I mean, I, I didn't so I get to see their that. names. I just saw the pictures of them and their VA announcements. So, yeah, I don't know the names of yeah. these characters. Yeah, I could try to say it, but I'll, I'll just butcher everything. <laughs> I can try to. I, I I I will say this just like a, just a couple of hours after um the four point eight special program, and I already see people criticizing like why are they white? Why? I think I heard someone someone complaining on Twitter. I just don't care. I I think they look awesome, honestly. Guys, they need they need to calm down. That's all I gotta say. Like, I get that there's not that many like dark skin characters, but god dang it, calm down. Yeah. At least there's like some. Not all of them are white, thank you. And plus, why do why do people even care about skin colors? Like, we're they're all human. Yeah. They make no sense. Like humanity makes no sense sometimes. So how about we go through this one at a time? I will say. Yeah. Their character designs are amazing. Yeah, I I love everyone, and I want everyone, which is a problem. <laughs> so yeah, good job. Oh no, everybody. Dad, you're gonna struggle in that in that one. I mean, I, I have some favorites there for sure, but like, I am, I, I do like, in general, enjoy everyone there. Oh. At least design wise. Ready? Let's go. I will say, people were hoping for Natlin to be like all fires and lava mountains and all that jazz. This is a. I actually full thought that was going to be when I first like, thought of Natlin. Yeah, that is, is also like what I thought about, like, like giant mountain peaks, like fires and volcanoes and geysers. No. This is a whole 180 from what we thought about. It's all past I, mean, I, I think there is going to be stuff like this, but it's just not going to be all not long like that. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be an area for all of that. Yeah. But wow, this so place is more colorful there. than everyone thought it was, honestly. I'm pretty sure it's more colorful mm. than what everyone thinks. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure we've like never seen a Natlin NPC even uh, even like before Sumeru, right? I think in Sumeru we saw like no, one I don't or think two. So. I think in Sumeru we saw like yeah. one and two or two. So I think Fontaine we had like a, a couple at least. But then um, before Sumeru, like we we heard not even a single word about Natlin. Like no one talks about Natlin. We've met like NPCs from Sumeru and Fontaine, and of course, the Fatui are literally people from Snejnaya, so we don't have to question that. Yeah. Natlin? No, well, not a single right head or he head of hair anywhere. Unless we read yeah. the manga, which is talking about um basically the people of Natlin. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like in game, we had no heard head or hair of Natlin at all before Sumeru. But this place is very pretty. <laughs> Attention, please! Kachina will now release oh, yeah. the ball to promote the upcoming tournament. This one is, I'll, I'll try it, I'll butcher, but I'll just try it. It's called uh, Mualani. That's her name. Mualani? She, yeah. She's very yeah. pretty. Mualani, and she's talking to Kachina, which is the little girl. Ah. Basically. She's very pretty, I will say. Oh! Huh? I wonder what kind of creature is Kachina, since she has those ears and tail. Well, maybe the ears. I don't see the tail much. But these two are so cute! Yeah, they're really cute. I don't know. I kind of want to say... F not fox, but fox-like? But I don't think that is it. Maybe because, like, the ears are way too big. Mm. Or some kind of, like... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like, It's not a fox, but something similar to it. I don't remember the name now. What? Mm. I, I like, want to say hyena, like a, but that can't be right. No, not not hyena. Is like 
kind of similar to a fox, but not like a an actual fox. A I just don't remember, I remember like, the name properly. Nah, it can't be a fairy. Fairy don't have that those big ears. No, I know, I know. Like, but no, I just thought, it was, like, like, I, I just thought about like, ferret, um, but I was like, nah, ferrets don't have those big ears. Yeah, but like, I feel like I, you know, I saw stuff similar to like this animal, I guess, but just I don't remember the name. Hmm. <laughs> oh, who's this? This is Kinchi. I hope I said it right. I probably didn't, but yeah. Huh. That's his name. And I forgot if they ever told who's the, the other guy, the, the other one that appears. There is the list there. Mualani, Kachina, Kinish? Kin, it's Kinish, Dad. Kinish, yeah. Almighty Dragon Lord of the Fluff. <laughs> yeah, that one there. Sitlali, Zilonen, Iansen, Cheska, Mavuika, uh, the captain, of course, Capitano, and Ororon. I didn't see, yeah. Well, I did see somebody standing next to Capitano, but I just didn't get a full look, so... <laughs> this is the dra the almighty dragon lord. <laughs> this is... Oh know, yeah, and I think the name of the little guy is... Uh, Ajal? Is A-J-A-N-W? Hul Ajal. Yeah, Hul Ajal. Yeah, that's it. That's the little guy. Son of a... So these, this guy's a bit of a potty mouth, as they say. Since he... he since it literally just a son of a... Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Reyna. What? Uh, just a small pause. You, ha you never watched Naruto, right? No. Well, actually, yeah, okay, I, I, heard it, here, I did Japanese. watch some episodes of Naruto, but it, it wasn't that much. Like, I wouldn't even count it okay. as a 1% of the entirety of Naruto, that's all I can say. Oh, I see. Because I think I, I heard it, people saying that this guy, oh, the main guy, is voiced by Sasuke, Japanese VA, and the little one is voiced by Naruto, which is a weird coincidence, I guess. Hmm. That he's a part of the same character. I mean, you. We can you always check. That is the thing. Enough. We can always check. No, it is. I know. I, I I'm checking right now. I, I know they are like, are th those are the VAs. Mm. Whoa! What the heck is that? I really love her design. Here. She looks very pretty. Yeah. Is sit 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 Lali? Ah, sit Lali. Yeah, she's yeah. really cute. I love her eyes. Yeah, it reminds me of Mainly blue with a bit of pink. Her hair color is and also And I'll be going for... Yeah. Your I'll be going for her for sure. Oh. Also, there's one other thing. Do you recognize her? Her voice? She does sound familiar. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. yeah it's our... Nice job. I was like, hold on. March, was that you? But then I, I had to look down just to make sure. I was like, yep. <laughs> Skylar! Yeah, Skylar, it's our... <laughs> welcome to Genshin! <laughs> so yeah, I was like, hold yeah, on. That sounded you know. familiar. Like, I when I first watched this earlier, like I did notice like, it was like, huh, she sounded kind of familiar. And then you pointed it out, I was like, wait, so I was so my, my instincts was right? So like, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's her. Get out of here! Leave me alone! This is a 180 from March because March is all happy go lucky. This is a <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I yeah, see is... she's a leopard. Yeah. Or a cheetah. Uh, a leopard or yeah. a cheetah? Because those look like probably. cheetah prints. Yeah, one of the two. Yeah, it's either a leopard or at a the... cheetah. She's Zilonin. At... Or yeah, Zilonin. Zilonin, yeah. Zilonin or Zilonin? Whichever, whichever, because... Uh, you know, yeah, I probably know when they... 
when they say it, I guess. Also, Capitanas' voice actor. I'm pretty sure we already got it during um the. Oh yeah, we got we probably we got it already. We already know who Capitan was. Yeah. But yeah, from from all the list, from everyone in the list here, I only know Skyler. I don't know anyone else in this list. I will be honest. Wait. Oh, they also um, linked the Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. I'm gonna look into the Japanese one to see, like, like the voices, Is just for the, the voices. voices. Even though it's not gonna write in the, even though in the description everything's gonna be uh, Japanese, I don't care. I just want to hear their Japanese voiceovers. Yeah, she's either. Yeah, hey, uh, I'm going for her for sure. Oh. I mean, she's. Geo. Oh you yeah, we go. She's Geo. You got it. It's your. It's your thing. Yeah, yeah. I am going for her for sure. Also, yeah. I I didn't say anything because we know most of these characters' elements already. Oh. Most of them, at least. We go for, uh, um, uh, like, in, in the order that we met them. Uh, Hydro, then Geo, mm -hmm. then Dendro, mm -hmm. then uh, Little March is, is Cryo. It shows there if you pause it. Whoa, then she's Cryo. This one is Geo. Oh. Yeah, she's Cryo. Mm -hmm. This lady is Geo, of course. We literally see it in the face here. Yeah, it is literally here. Mm hmm. Okay, so I will say this. I say I say she's either a, she's either a cheetah or a leopard. But from what from how she's acting, she she's like a she's like a lion to me. For some reason. Oh, hi. Then Jensen. We we have uh, the is a is a I for sure. I son. Yeah. I know. Uh, I see it's Jensen, but. We don't yeah, know. We just have to yeah, wait for the game that. because, again, this will be a Risley situation again. Yeah, Ryo Tesla. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like Ryo Tesla, and then the game's that. like Risley. It's like what the fluff. But this is pretty sure like the character that we saw are way yeah. way during the yeah. Teva um travail trailer. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. her. Her outfit is slightly different. Yeah, I think I heard people saying it's a little bit different, which is fine. It's only been like I, I mean, almost four years, so yeah, it, it's this game is is already planned in advance, <laughs> as Maxer <laughs> says. This game is planned for like seven years in advance. But yeah, the the long hair is still there. the The outfit is just a bit different. She's very cute though. It is a she, right? I'm not. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not. I mean, all the all the chibis have been girls. We have yet to see a guy. <laughs> all the little yeah, ones no, have been girls. No, no chibi guy. Well, there's only one. He we can't really call him and, a chibi though. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty sure. I mean, where I'm looking, it is saying Lee is is a she. Okay, a but anyway. do we know her element? No, I I tried to look when I was first watching the trailer. I didn't find it. At I guess the, the the either the it's hiding on her back or it's it's a bit lower on her body there. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Ooh, I love her hair color. Like there's a bit of purple, but it's mostly yeah, I, just I love the, ma like yeah. magenta-ish red, with a bit of I I don't know if it's I don't think that it's white. Uh, it could be just the lighting. But I think it's the lighting. Is yeah. Amazing. This is Chaska. Chaska. Yeah. That is her. She's very pretty. Which, which apparently I forgot who is it. Right, right now you you remember who is a uh, Ver Goldet? I I don't remember who, the, who this character is. Ver Goldet? Uh she's yeah. the she's the um lady in um in um where Sha was. Oh okay yeah she voice Bob well, she's her voice basically. Oh. Wow, she went from an NPC to a literal playable character. Congrats. Yeah. And it shows later, but she's also Cryo. She's also Cryo? Yeah, she's also Cryo. It shows later the green dog sister shot. I love her hit. This outfit slays, honestly. This outfit looks Ooh. great. 
I love the outfit. But I, I already said it. I, I think I like the hair more. The way yeah, the hair looks, looks I, I, I love fire, the outfit as well. As they say. Yeah, it's probably because that it literally looks like it's flames, basically. The way it was designed and If and I that. were to look at it, since I, I, I am well. a Honkai Impact 3rd player, if I were to look at her, she's like a cross with Himiko and the new, like the mo the newest, the newest version of Fuhua. That's what I'm getting from her. Like she's a cross from Himiko and the newest version of Fuhua. The, the, well, the most recent version at least. Like Fuwa in her Garuda form. So she's basically a cross between those two. That's what I'm seeing. But I say, she looks great. Ooh. The way her hair is is animated, it's amazing. Yeah, so there are streaks yeah. of like like golden like a bit of golden orange here. And the way that it's also most of your hair is red with a bit of streaks of yellow. It's not full red, like there's like yeah. Yeah, so I say she's very much a cross of Himiko and the the new like the most recent form of Fuwa. Though I say the most recent form of Fuwa shines more, but I say her outfit is more Himiko and not Hokai Factor. Yeah, I'm going that route. I am Hokai Factor player. Gotta follow along. My dear friends, take your positions. Yeah, her her way her outfit style is like Himiko from Hokai Factor. And her this hair is, is for winners only. Her hair is just like who was. The champion will take all. Ah, there it is. There's the cryo. There, there There's it, the cryo. it shows the vision there. Yeah. Also, yeah. the 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 their 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 um vision casing. It looks like the sun. Don't you think? Oh uh, yeah. The vision uh, casing. I didn't talk too like much about it because we. It showed on the on the other teaser like the the casing so i didn't say too much about it now yeah but well, like i'm actually get able to see the, it clearly the, now they look they are like the sun mm -hmm. so now we've seen the casings of every vision now yeah every nation yeah yeah every vision nation but yeah i say her head it looks great yeah and he goes back to everyone Is that the guy? And yeah, and then we have Ororon. Capitano and uh, Ororon is in. Also, let me send you something on Discord. There's a better image of him that like someone I don't know, maybe so it was whatever. You can see a little bit better of his design. Yeah, um well Hoyo did post it um the VA announcements and they show the pictures of the characters, so Yeah, it's basically that picture, I'm pretty sure. Ah. If you want to have a better look of him. This is, it just it goes really fast. Yes, I did know. Like I did see like somebody was standing next to Capitano, but because it was zooming past, I I didn't get to get a full look at him. Ah, yes, here it is. Yeah. <sighs> he has ears, and I think I think his tail is hidden behind his cloak, unless yeah. he just has ears. It looks great. It could be wrong. I'm pretty sure he has other other chromia as well, because I think his eyes are two different colors. Oh, but uh, do we know his element or no? I don't think so. Not so his anyway. his vision might be on the other side of his body, because we're seeing fully one side of his body and we see nothing here. So it's either it's hiding in his little cape at the back here, or it's on the other side of his um hip, which is also a which is also a yeah. uh, possibility. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> round button. There we go. Um. Are, are you brave enough to compete? So there's beef between these two. In a way. Maybe. I really I don't mean, know. The, the, there's beef between all the seven, like all the six nations and the Fatui, so. <laughs> Why am I even questioning? It's like, these two have beef. It's like, I mean, duh. The Fatui is literally causing chaos in all na all the other nations. How can there not be beef? Yeah. But, hmm. I wonder what, like, does Capitano have a vision? Hmm. 
I, I mean, maybe we don't know. I don't yeah, think it shows some nothing people here. Some say it's... that not all harbingers have visions. I mean, I mean, uh, Wanderer before he became Wanderer, he does not have a vision. Yeah. So. You know, there the are boy, rumors saying that pa uh, uh, pa uh, like um, Pantalon does not have a vision. Well, it's just rumors. We don't know if that's true or not. So, hmm. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure people are now just wondering, like, does Capitano have a vision? And what vision would that be? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there. The big door. Also, Bron, um, Bron, um, made a made a bet, and he he lost the bet, so he has to see sixty uh, the pyro archon. But I'm pretty sure he will gladly do it now. Oh, I think I, I think I saw it. Yeah. But yeah. What he was made the bet short... again? I, I saw the post. I didn't. I don't remember the bet. Yeah, he, he basically is like, if this person um, replied to me on Twitter, I will see six the Pyro Archon. Oh, that I person, remember. Yeah, that person um, replied, and he's like, well, I'm C6 the Archon now. Oh, yeah. I remember. Was that like... Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, so I think after seeing what she looks like, well, at least we we think this is the Pyro Archon, because you know what happened in Fontaine. I mean, I mean yeah. We know I what think happened I already saw people like theorizing, like maybe I don't know some crazy stuff already. Like yeah. maybe it isn't. Maybe he's trying to bamboozle us again. I don't know. But yeah, it's just theorizing. We don't know yet. So yeah, if this is truly the 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 actual Pyro Archon, then I'm pretty sure Bron would, would actually see six or without even trying. Like I guess yeah. the trying part is just get, filling the <laughs> the account with uh, Genesis crystals and. Keep continue pulling, but and try to win as many 50-50s. But um, apart from that, yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll just go with it no matter what. Also, it could be just me. Yeah. When I saw her earrings and the the zipper that she had, I kept like it come it keep coming to my mind the Carmian symbol, but I don't know if that means something or not, or it's just supposed to be a sun, or there's nothing related to that. Like that symbol there. I will say it does look a bit like, of the Conrian symbol, it but I'm pretty sure it's mostly like, about the sun. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It just kept reminding me every time I keep see I keep sawing, like Yeah, I like, can understand. Is, this, is there something there or like am I or just supposed to be the sun and just similar in design, I guess, because maybe maybe, what, you know, maybe the secret she has to tell us is something to do with Conria, we will never know. As Danes did say, yeah. is like um, let's see. Let's see. The rules of war are woven in the womb. The victor shall burn bright while the while the losers turn to ash. When the god of war shares the secret oh, yeah. with the traveler, it is because she has her reasons. So, I, I'm pretty sure everyone's like theorizing what kind of secret she has to share with us, aka the travelers. Oh, well, speak of that. I don't think it's lore important. I just thought it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's just a line that I think she says earlier. This battle is for winners only. The champion will take it all. I was like, oh, okay. Like, it's just like the the line, the initial line. The battle is for winners only. Like, you know, just just the winners that matters, I guess. Uh, after all, the victor shall burn just, bright while the losers my... return to ash. Just like <laughs> just yeah. the senora turn to ash. <laughs> she lost the fight. She, she's got to deal with it. Also, the the animating of her hair in the darkness here, beautiful. The yeah. shading is just wonderful. It's like her hair is actually fire. But yeah, I I am being serious here. From her from her from the way she looks, she is literally the um, basically Himiko and Fu like the most recent Fuhua combined together. Her hairstyle is more Fuhua. Her her outfit style is more Himiko, but her personality is more Himiko. Actually, her personality is kind of again. I'll say I like the flame is not like Even only like red. It could be only red, but like they're like other colors on the flame as well. 
Yeah, there's blue, so there's yellow, there's orange. To make the flame more unique, I guess. Yeah. Time to burn again. Even the tiniest of sparks will not go unnoticed. Did you catch everything? I don't know why when she said that I thought she was talking to us <laughs> for a moment. But then what she looked at the flames later. To us? Flames. No no no, this is part right now I, I didn't know like when she looks behind I thought she was talking to us when I first watched it, but no, she just look at the flames. Ah. Which I guess they're, they're, they maybe are alive? Maybe. So here are all six but flames she looks are behind, literally like, burning, oh, just, like, but in the in the teaser trailer, like the teaser from before, it only shows three. Unless it's just showing three. I factions. think those ones are like the six tribes. Mm. Did he talk about their six tribes and that one or something like that? I assume that's what it is represents. What our eyes see ought to be our fate. But now. You just part that confuse me. Like, are the flames is there alive or or like? For with our blood, we will forge our true fate. I like this line as well. Forge fate. Yeah, I'm saying it. She's basically cross between Himiko and the recent Fuwa. Well, mm -hmm. her her it seems her 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 um. The way how she, like how confident she is, I say she's more Himiko. With a hint of Fuwa. Mm. That's what happens when you play Honka Impact 3rd, ladies and gents. You start, you're starting to compare. I mean, fine. But it's a good thing, though. Got the references, I People know. love Himiko and Honka Impact 3rd. And I love Fuwa a lot in Honka Impact 3rd. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it, but people are already making that meme of uh, Doctor Strange, like, I love you in every single universe. They've been Himiko. doing this since, we, since during Star happening. Rail. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, yeah, but now they're like, they have the image, so they're doing with her now. Yeah. So, hmm. I say it just depends for me. Like, um... I don't know, like, I don't know who to pull. Well, I, I actually have two choices already. <laughs> I already have two in, I mean, in my books already. I mean, for me, guaranteed, I'm going for... The Geo Girl and like Powerwalkon for sure. I am deciding if I go for little 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 girl here. I might just go just because he's Geo out of principle. I need to I need to go for it. You say you're gonna go for so it because of Geo in principle. I see no Zhongli in your account. <sighs> you look Zhongli down, is you... not a girl right now. There's a difference. He's a okay. Geo user, and second of all, he's the Geo Archon. You just immediately left him. You just got a lucky when I first pull him in the first banner. You never end up your own. Yeah, you say you're pulling for uh, for them because of Geo uh, for principle. <laughs> no Geo Archon is found in your account. So I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, maybe someday. We'll see. Oh, yeah. But I'm going for Dendro Boy for sure as well. Uh, I'm pulling for him for sure, but. I don't know what this he's doing, guy. but I love his design. Uh, I'm going for a go. Yeah, I really love his design, honestly. Like, I love the I love the diamonds in his hair here, and I also love his color. His like, his color like, like everything about the color that, that they choose for him. But what about this guy? Is this guy like connected with him or something? I think is another Oz situation. If I have to guess, another what situation? Or I mean, people have been saying that I can. Um, well, I, I think at least that is why I think like every single character in Natal is going to have like a, a Saurian, like a Pokemon, <laughs> for like a better term. So he, this might be his, basically, his Saurian. Mm -hmm. That I guess talks. Yeah. Why? Is it 2D? I have no idea though. <laughs> if it really is his. Oh, he broke one of the vases! I just realized he broke one of the vases! Yeah, he broke the vases. Yeah. 
I I might decide like do I want to pull for her or no? Also, where's the cryo vision? And if you guys say she's cryo. Uh, next shot. Where is a? Uh, oh, I see it now. I see uh, it. Here. I see it. I see it. It's tucked away on her yeah. side here. So yeah, I might pull for her. I do love like I I love her color stuff like her color scheme. I love her hair. Her personality. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's irritated because one one of the vases literally broke. Wait, to be fair, she like. A ball broke one of her faces. Everyone would be mad about it, like... Yeah, so it's it, it makes sense why she's irritated. But yeah, if I were to be honest here, I love her color scheme. I love her hair. Her, like, her hair color just beautiful. I also love her eyes. Her eyes are very pretty. And also the little triangle yeah, mark I'm, I'm... on her head. Reminds me of Shao a little. Hmm. So yeah, yeah, I'm going for, for her as well. It is the pink hair. It's the pink purple hair. It just, it just makes pale it. purple. I say this is pale purple. Get out of here. Yeah. I guess she's. Oh, it, there's also a possibility that she's not really interested in the tournament. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But yeah, the danger boy is um, a must for me. Terminal. She is um, depending because you know how you know how Hoyo is. They like to overlap certain banners. <laughs> I'm yeah. just still surprised I got Risley and New Villette on the, in the very same update, so... How did that happen? I have no idea. Leave me alone! I don't know about her. Like, I literally don't know about her. I don't know if I want to pull for her or not. I think a, a time will tell me, like, if I want to pull for her or not. But I know you're gonna pull for her because you're quote unquote principal. Yeah, I'm going to. This is that time of year again. I mean, when I saw her, I feel like I was seeing Nave all over again. Not personality wise, because and then our design. But I feel like it was Nave all over again when I saw her first in Fontaine. Like, I'm pretty sure they're gonna give us one of the characters for free because I feel like they, they should do that. Like, for Sumeru, Kale was free. Um, Fontaine, Lynette was free. And I think yeah. uh, Amber has always been free since the very beginning. But who was the one that was in the? Uh, oh, it was Jiangling. So Jiangling was also free because of the abyss. Yeah. Who else was free? I forgot. Is it just these these three? Apart from I the, the trio so. that we met in the in in um Monset from the beginning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So they gave Kali for free because of Dendro, and they gave uh, Lynette for free because of like the level twenty five. You have to reach level twenty five mm -hmm. to get Lynette. Uh huh. Yeah. And so they might give us she's one for free. Kali is of... also in the abyss, actually. Hmm? So yeah, Kali is also in the abyss, right? I think so. Yeah, I don't remember because I got her immediately. Yeah, same. I think it was really abyss. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's also it's like Jiangling and Kale are in the abyss. Lynette is if you, when you reach AR twenty five, regardless of where you are in the game, AR twenty five here have a free animal kitty cat. I, okay, Iansan, I'm also debating. I'm debating. She's pretty cute. I will. Be, I will be. Honest. I actually. Yeah, I actually am going to wait to see her kid. Honestly. Yeah. So also, I, I went on attention when I saw this mask of hers, like. Why does she use a necromancer? But like, I have no base to say that. I just said it because there's the skeleton here in her face. You mean like her, there's yeah, a there's head. a chance she is a callus user or something? Yeah, some kind of like necromancer, catalyst user, something mm -hmm. based on nothing. I just it's just based on this one design of her her <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Dream, I guess. Hmm. Oh, so yeah. I didn't talk about it, but both her and I think this girl as well, if I'm not wrong, uh, they have like this elf-like ears. The two of them, I think. I mean, hers is because her hair is covered. And I don't know it, what I that like means at one exactly. point the wind blows pretty well that it, you you can see the ears. But if these two are like ear uh, like elf-like creatures, there the is a shot. possibility. Who knows? Maybe Clee and her mom actually came from Natlin. We never know. They never specify where they came from. All we know is that yeah. Alice found Monsta and decided to stay there because it's uh, the freedom in Monsta is is going to be very helpful for Klee. 
So who knows? Maybe Alice and Clea are actually from Natlin. It could be. I'll say it. This character is probably because of the hat. It gives me a lot of Cool Run vibes. <laughs> I can see that. it. I can see it. <laughs> also, for her, I also I don't know if I went up over her or not. Again, it's just depending because I already have like three, like I mostly two possible. Like I want to pull. Um. Yeah, I have this problem as this well. If you like, and then the like uh, so and then the lady there. that is basically has the same voice as March. Um, she's a um like she's a maybe. Like I I need to think about it. Um, Yansen um is also a maybe. I also need to think about it. So this lady, I don't know. Do I want to pull for her? I'm trying pull for her. I love the hair, honestly. Yeah, her hair color is good. Her hair color is actually good. The Pyro Archon. Currently, I have this I mean, streak of pulling for Archons, but there's always this one Archon I'm not pulling, which is Raiden. <laughs> you, you don't have Zhongli. <laughs> you have everyone else. I have else. Zhongli or Venti. Oh, I you don't have Raiden Venti too? Oh, Apple. God. So you don't I have two of the yeah. Archons. I have everyone except Raiden. So do I want to pull for the Pyro Archon? That is a question. Then again, Farida was an accident. <laughs> All because Charlotte says no. Wait, not Charlotte. It was a good accident, Raina. It was a good accident. That's what they all say. So, again, it, I guess it depends. I do love the, 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 the design, but again, we don't know if she's actually the Pyro Archon because of what happened with Farina. Now people are gonna think yeah, 20 yeah. times before they think who's the real Pyro Archon. Like, who's the real Archon and not the... Um, someone pretending to be the Archon the just for a, a prophecy. My dear friends, take your position! I don't, I'll probably go for her. Competitive spirit and give your all. For me, it depends. If if the two gents are not too close to her banner, then I might actually go. For winners only. I do love her design. Right. It, it, it's not a question. She looks amazing. Will take all. For me, I think uh, if I have to give, uh, like, well, I'll probably need only four characters for now. That I'll like seriously go for. I only have two so far. There's the other guy. Oh yeah, he stop now. I I don't know about the other guy. Uh, for Capitan, I'll go for him. I really enjoy his VA. I like. I really love his voice. So I feel like he's a like, given for me at least. I don't know about the guy Otto, the, the other Oberon? guy besides him because I I want to hear more about him. Well, for me, the the ears kind of already. <laughs> Look, when you have oh. when your OC okay. is literally a character, uh, is literally part wolf, and then her uh, set OCs as family is mainly wolves with, of course, some extras because some some of my OCs as brothers, like some of Reyna's as brothers, early are part dragons. One is a literal part fish, <laughs> aka he's a merman basically. Like, there's also mm. some vampires in the in the siblings here. There's even literal de little demons in this in the in the siblings. Then again, demons are normal when you're when one of your grandfathers is literally a demon, so it's normal. So for us, the 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 thing is, I'm just worried that guy might be evil. But who knows? Then again, I'll hate them. Kind of looks evil when in reality he just means well. <laughs> His axe is not actually evil. He's just, he's just uh just prefer to do things his, his own way. I mean, yeah. Also, yeah, you think they're going to... They're not showing so far. You think they're going to show Capitano's face? As, <gasps> when, if he's playable? Ooh. Also, some be, people think that this is that Capitano's hair. Like, people think Capitano has actually black hair. But there, this is a possibility that I this mean, could be just mind. part of the mask, but we, we'll never know. Yeah. I'm just wondering, like, if he's playable, he's going to, like, have his face, like, showing, or it's going to be the mask all the time. Or he's gonna be like, like maybe like, normally he would not have the mask, but then his his alt would have him have the mask. That, that's also a possibility. Uh, they could go many ways with this. Yeah. They just gotta do it right <laughs> because you know how everyone is. Are you brave enough mm -hmm. to compete? Mm -hmm. so, my guy. 
I don't say did they say anything to this old trade? It was just like, hmm, and I just left. I mean, he said a good amount of words in the in the other trailer, Dad. The for Signor's. Yeah, yeah, but because <laughs> I feel like him and probably the Archon, like at least for most people, like it's the character like they're like wait, wanting to see. At least just like not before I know knowing the other ones. But now it's just basically us with her. <laughs> I accidentally pressed zero, so we're basically uh, at the very you beginning. Didn't press zero. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you're on like a computer or a laptop. If you press numbers, it'll push you back to wherever your num whatever number you're putting. So if you choose zero, it's all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> <sighs> so hmm. Oh, so yeah, I'm surprised we're actually having two new Geo characters right off the bat. That I mean, me. between between uh, Navia and uh, <laughs> uh, who was the last? Uh, I say uh, Yunjin. Sorry? <laughs> between Yunjin to Navia, <laughs> that's a huge gap. <laughs> I mean, I know, no, it was a huge gap. I know. We still have yet to have a Geo character in Sumeru. Yeah. Like, we still have some I'm still waiting for my sand bender, god dang it. Your what? My sand bender. The Your geo sand character <laughs> control sand. I'm waiting for that. Oh yeah, maybe a geo character in, in Sumeru would be able to like have powers over the sand. It makes sense. But yeah, we st so yeah, um in Mo in Mondstadt we have every element, right? I don't think we have do we have Dendro in Mondstadt? I don't remember. Actually, no, we don't have Dendro in Mondstadt. Okay, so we're missing Dendro in Mondstadt. Liwa, I think we have everyone, right? Yeah, we have everything, I'm pretty sure. Inazuma? Um, I think we might have everything. Sumeru, we, we don't have Geo. Yeah. Sumeru, we don't have Geo. Um, mm -hmm. Fon Fontaine, we have everyone. Think so. Who is Pyro besides Arlequino again? Oh, and Lini, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think we have everyone, yeah. Hydro, Hydro, Cryo, Animo. Who's Animo again? Lynette. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting, like. Because, like, it, like, it, like, oh, yeah, they're Fatui, but they are from. Yeah, they're Fatui, but they are actually from Fontaine. Yeah. I say we still don't have Dendro, but Dendro is about to come out in 4.8, so... Right? We don't have any mm -hmm. Dendro before Emily, right? In, in in Fontaine, I don't think so, yeah. Yeah, so before... So currently, in playable-wise, we don't have Dendro yet. And, and Natlin will just have to see. We've seen two Geos, we have a couple of Cryos here, we have some Dendros as well. Yeah. Though some characters we do not know of. We're missing animal. We didn't see animal yet. Not they already Atlantis. broke the cycle of us getting rescued by an animal character. So, <laughs> unless we're gonna get saved by by Wanderer again at the end of four, uh, uh, like at the end of four point, which is basically there you go. getting saved by Wanderer save us in Sumero and in and in Fontaine as well. There you go. There is Lynette did not save us in, in Fontaine. <laughs> I mean, we but save them. But if the toy land you know. portal is in Fontaine. We can't say he'll actually save us in Fontaine yet. Unless that portal is in Fontaine. We'll see. I'm whacking the egg in, in, in my plate. <laughs> so... So we are interested in meeting the new friend. Like, the, the friends that we'll meet in, in Natlin here. I'm pretty mm -hmm, sure a lot mm -hmm. of people are interested in know, learning more about Capitano and if he does have a vision. Yeah. Or maybe he'll be like Wanderer. Something happened and then he'll get his vision right then and there. That's also a possibility. He will pull a Wanderer <laughs> right then and there. And, uh, of course, learning more about the Pyro Archon, if she's actually the Pyro Archon, because again, 
from the situation in Fontaine. Yeah. We cannot judge a book by its cover I mean, anymore. I feel it's the last time for them, for them to, like, maybe try to, like, trick us, because I don't feel the reasons to, like, to try to, like, you know, bamboozle us in Jinej Naya. I mean, I feel like the moment, like I feel like if the moment we step foot into Snitch Nile, everyone is just gonna keep their eyes out. Like we're gonna be watched every step of the way in Snitch Nile. It is the nation yeah. where all where the Fatui is basically from. So, <laughs> yeah, the moment mm -hmm. we step into Snitch Nile, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be like on high alert every step, like every step we take. So unlike the other oh, nations, yeah. we can't really breathe. Um, like, Hello? we cannot really breathe normally in Snizhnaya because, yeah, we're gonna be watched 24-7. Yeah, I don't... You think, like, I know it's already natural now, but just speaking of the future. You think in Snizhnaya, maybe 50% of the characters are gonna be for the Fatui? Ooh. Like, most of them? That, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, but again... Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows not all of the Harbingers are going to be playable because <laughs> one of them's already, already dead. <laughs> and so far we have um, three playable characters from from um, yeah. uh, the Fatui, uh, the Harbingers, which is Wanderer, even though he's basically an ex-Fatui, and nobody even remembers his existence uh, apart from three yeah. certain people. We have, of or course, Child, child who was the first one, Arlequina. and then we have Arlequino, which is the most recent. So, mm -hmm. whatever plans Hoyo have for Capitano, that is up to them. But we yeah. just have to see. I'm still hoping Columbine is going to be playable, honestly. Mm. Just kind of hoping. That is also... I also I am interested as well. She is... She is the the damsel. She, her, 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 her title in the Fatui is basically the damsel. Yeah. And she's the third strongest. She's already ranked yeah. third, so... Hmm. She is very interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure people are also very interested in, um... Piero, since he's actually a, a mage. From Conria. Yeah. Like, what brought him into, like, step like stepping foot in Snizhnaya and joining the... The Cryo Archon in her cause? Hmm. I'm still baffled about the fact that there is only two gentlemen as the Archons, all the rest are ladies. I mean, there's nothing bad as like... Yeah. I would like some some balance. Yeah. Only two. And, are, and they're also the oldest ones as well. Yeah, they're also the only elf. <laughs> they're like the only um uh the the remaining uh be like first archons basically. Yeah. Because the rest are either replaced or basically taken over, like replaced or basically like. Yeah. I mean, boards. technically, Raiden is like is not an old archon by a technicality because technically, like yeah, because her people sister think she's actually. The archon. Yeah, people think that she and Makoto are one person, because nobody knew yeah. like, that the uh, the Electro Archon are actually twins. Mm -hmm. And it's also shown mm -hmm. that uh, Makoto is more is more people the pe for the people kind of Archon, while while A is more a uh, the warrior Archon. So while her sister yeah. helps um, dealing with the people, she's more in the battlefield. Hence why she acts how she is in the Archon Quest. She doesn't know how to truly rule when it comes to her people. She only knows about the battlefield. Also, Reina, I'm going to... Today, I'm going to... We, we're talking about Harbinger. I'm going to make a promise today. No matter what happens, if the rooster is playable, I'm pulling for him and his weapon. It's all like recording, Dad. This is going up on YouTube later once I make it. Yes, made a, yes. A I don't care. I'm just saying now. If he's actually playable, I'm going to pull for him. No matter his kit. <laughs> Screw up the way I will pull for this man. Yeah, I'm, I will be honest. I am interested. Like, does he have a vision? Or is he going to pull a wanderer and get his vision later? Or he? there's a possibility he doesn't, he doesn't have... He never has a vision and he's not playable. That's also a, a possibility, but... 
if he is playable, you made a you made an oath of wanting to pull for him. So there you go. Yes, I did. It's all in recording. This is it, this is not cut. I, I don't cut. Yeah. Vods, honestly. Mm-hmm. Except for I, except for there are times where I have to, but I'm I'm saying there's nothing I'm gonna be cutting out from this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going for it for sure. I said the weapon, but I might go back on that word because I don't know what it's going to be. But like, I guess for just sure. the character is already good enough. Like the weapon is a a, a maybe. It's a fifty fifty thing. Like, yeah, I might want to get it at the same time. You might want not not gonna get it. Totally. But, but yeah, it's I'm always getting the character. For sure. Plus, you can always go for the weapon him. when he reruns. That's also an option. Yeah. Well, for me, I already know two people I'm gonna go with. The. Yeah. I also, would like to get Sandrone if she ever playable as well. Who? Sandrone, I think that's her. The, the one like with the big mecha there. I think that's her name, right? Marionette. I forgot. Was that it? I don't remember. Yeah, she's um, she's the marionette. But I don't remember her name. I really need to go back to all these old videos and watch Ooh. them again. I'm surprised you didn't pull the uh, <laughs> no simping in the court thing <laughs> like in the Fontaine video. I mean, that one. The, the joke just made itself. And plus, you were asking me a question, and I just went silent, and I was like, okay, okay, we're done. Yeah. Uh, what, what were you saying? <laughs> yeah, I felt like something happened in the internet at the time. Oh, wait, what? Like, something happened? <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. Refrain from simping in the car. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but it's just that the moment I saw, uh, I saw Nubile, I was like, I guess somewhere inside of me, I knew that he's not really human. But I did not expect him to be an actual dragon. Which also works, because again, yeah. I have a huge thing for dragons. And wolves and cats. Mm. So yeah, I mm-hmm. knew he was not human when I first looked at him. But I did not expect him to be a dragon. I'm pretty sure everyone can tell that he's not really human when they first saw him. I mean, ears... His ears, his eyes are th- those two. Those two things are already a dead giveaway. Yeah, it's been there for a while as well as the Udex. So there's also that. Yeah, the Udex of the of the court. <laughs> He's been there for mm-hmm. apparently five hundred years. But the thing is, we don't. People think that he's actually like around five hundred years old. But then when we heard what Verena said in the Lantern Rite. Yeah, uh, not anymore. <laughs> so apparently, Nubilet's yeah. that's thousands of years old. We don't know how many how how many of, of those were thousands is just thousands of years old. Meaning that Nubilet has been out in the wild, but then when Fosalor took over, she welcomed him into Fontaine, and that's where he started to learn more about humans and basically become the Udix. Yeah. Hmm. So, I currently have two um, characters that I want to pull from from Natlin. I thought it was going to be even worse, but no, just like Fontaine, it's only two characters. Hmm. But I mean, two again, is a good there's amount. also a possibility that it, this game will screw me up and that put and then put both. both both guys close to each other. Put two again together. <laughs> I would actually cry. Like I saw Risley and Nouvellet in the same update. Is like Ugh, I'm gonna cry. I was already um I was already um like guaranteed for Nouvellet. I just did not think that the first ten pull would be Nouvellet. It's like, well, I'm done. <laughs> I got Nouvellet. <laughs> and I was just lucky with um Risley because I got Tainari early, and then I got Risley by the very end. With all, with every poll I have. So, yeah. I was just lucky back then. I don't think le- I'm going to get lucky ever again. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe. 
<laughs> again, that would be like if it, if it does happen again and I got lucky and got both, I would actually cry tears of joy. <laughs> Dumbo basically gave up on Genshin, so I don't know if this will bring him back. But then again, if it, even if it does, he hasn't even go to Inazuma yet. <laughs> Deluxe's story quest has just been sitting there. Oh. Um, D Dainsliff has been also just wandering around <laughs> because he hasn't started that one too. <laughs> Xiao and the others are still in the castle <laughs> because he hasn't even gotten there yet. Oh my god. Yeah, so they've just been sitting there. Like, I don't know. Are they even alive anymore down there? Don't know. Yeah, he just finished. He just finished Lila. Never met Kazuha yet. So, Oof, poor Kaza. Yeah, and um, Baisht is just hanging out in the ocean <laughs> because he hasn't done 2.4 as well. Uh. Yeah, so, yeah, he basically abandoned Genshin. He's sat in Star Rail now. He doesn't really like uh, Wuwa. Not much. Like, he doesn't like Wuwa. I'm, I'm actually. To Wuwa's tolerable for me. Zen was zone hmm. zero, though. The two of us don't even know what to say about it. Too much sci-fi for the both of us. We prefer oh, fantasy. Yeah. I was going to t uh, to talk to you about later, but since you brought it up, they posted all think all new three characters that think going to be in the next version, and one of them is named Jane Doe. Which I don't know. Have you heard of John Doe, right, Reina, or not? John Doe. Yeah, John Doe. Isn't that like a fake name for um in in um Star Rail where you, somebody ha is like taking Luna's place as the High Elder, and that was one of the name options. Um, okay, so John Doe usually is a name like kind of like when you, for example, when let's say a crime happens and you found like a body, for but for whatever reason, but you cannot identify the body. Usually they people they named his body like a John Doe, like uh, like it's no one basically because they don't know who it is. It became uh, synonymous of that. Oh. So I just thought it was like interesting that this guy named Jane Doe, and apparently she's part of the police, I think. So I'm like, uh huh, like, like what are you trying to say with this? <laughs> this character here, and then people just meme me on the comments like. Oh, hello, John. Oh, so why well, we find now John Honkai, John Zenless, James. Like, what is this? <laughs> it's me with the name because just found it interesting the name. I don't know if I will get her though. Didn't Maxer call like? Didn't Maxer's videos like John Impact? <laughs> yeah, John Impact. <laughs> On the well, video. how fun. So this is all char this is new character from um Zenla Zone Zero for the next update, huh? Yeah, there are three of them apparently. Thought I saw. I see. We're moving slowly for Wu One Zenla Zone Zero. Also, isn't isn't next week supposedly the two point four special program for Starreal? Have you I seen I think Mom? so. It Have must you seen be. Mom? She's been silent. Um I talked to Juvia a few days ago, and I think she said she was having Discord problems, but she might just be busy as well. Ah. Uh. Because I haven't seen her on my streams too much. Then, um, I, I left something for Mom in, um, in, um, uh, the Star Rail di discussion chat. Would you, would you be so kind as to look at it? Yeah, I think I, I think I know what it is, I will just look at it again. Yeah, the this is for you, and then I saw the the build here. Is it the brake pilot? <laughs> yes, I fixed her more oh because God. before this she had four piece uh four piece of the thief set, and um, what was the middle set? I think it was the crit damage one. Ooh. But she had the crit damage um link uh, like a uh, uh, link rope and a uh, um. Sphere, the planner sphere. So I fixed it up and put the same build that you would put on, <laughs> on the <laughs> Avenger. I say no, not Avenger. Uh, Gallagher, I think. 
And Boot Hill, like, this is basically a Boot Hill build, <laughs> but on Bailu. But on Bailu. Yeah, and she, uh, she has, uh, she has Gallagher's, uh, Light Cone, which also gives Break Effect. So this is yeah this is break Bailu at is at her finest. I fixed it up like before this again four set a four piece of the, of the thief set, and then uh, the crit damage set from World Five. Um, World Five and Simulate Universe, but now I fixed it. Don't worry, all of them are HP, supposedly. But now, because of Gallagher's um, light cone, no every normal attack she does, she's just gonna heal herself. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's what uh, Gallagher's light cone does. Like it gives you break effect, but every normal attack you do, it, you're just gonna heal. So yeah, Bailu is still <laughs> is mainly break effect, but she she is still a healer. Congrats on making Bailu Gallagher. Basically. <laughs> Gallagher. <laughs> yes, I turned Bailu into Gallagher. <laughs> Thanks, Gallagher. Also, um, Dumbo is gonna do a Candy Crush event. Um, since his Gallagher is only um, E zero, he's basically the lowest uh, Adeline character he has. I am. Um, he only has a E E one Joey. <laughs> Wait, is it Joey or Hanya? Uh, uh, the the second character. But, what? Um, in the character selection for the Candy Crush event. Was it Hanya I or is, Joyi? I think, I think it's Hanya. Yeah, so he has E1 Hanya. Hanya. He has E6 Luka. And I think E2 Arlan. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he still has only E2 Arlan. When Arlan's literally the only character from that roster that he has built. Because <laughs> Arlan's literally the only lightning character he built. Before Jingyi won. He wanted to build Serval, but he didn't go with it. But yeah, Bailu now has 189.9% break effect. But that this is with um, S1 Light Cone. That's an S1 Gallagher Light Cone. So if we put more... Like, if we superimpose it, the break effect will go up. So for now, it's only at 189. Hmm... So yeah, I can't wait for mom to see this because I I literally posted it and I literally, I literally, at her like they mentioned her. So I can't wait okay. for when she sees it, because yeah, I built by like I again when I first started I didn't know much about what what set goes to who, so I just put the thief set on Bailu thinking it was like it was fine on her. Oh. And it's been stuck with her for a very long time, and then mom saw it is like is that a break Bailu? <laughs> Is it yes? Oh, it's a break Bailu. Yes, it is a break Bailu. I was thinking <laughs> of fixing it, but then mom, uh, uh, mom's like, bring your break Bailu. Is like, wow, you really like that build on Bailu. So now here you go. I have refined it more, and it should be up to our taste. Gallagher's is like only level seventy, I think. So I can just level it up. But right now I'm just getting stuff for March, while the du while the dummy next to me is getting stuff for Yunli. He's getting close to the number. I say he still needs a lot of farming because the first tier stuff is only like what? Six, like 30 something, 40 something? The second tier is like at least 100 and 100 something. Yeah, the, the, a lot of stuff. The third tier ones are going to be at least 200. So it's, it's going to be a, 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 a ride when it comes to farming these characters. March is a four star, so she doesn't really need as much stuff. But what's wrong with getting extras? I mean, who knows? Maybe after I get E six E six S five Luna, maybe wait for a bit before I decide to E six S five. I don't know if I'm actually gonna S five um Blady, but I might think about that. But E six Blady at least. I might pull for some of the characters I really want, like Boot Hill, when they got there on a the rerun. Like I might get Boot Hill. I might get a uh, Aventurine as a maybe. But um, I might get. Yeah, Aventurine, I kind of need to get. Aventurine is a maybe. Um, I might get Firefly actually. Ooh. So yeah, it, there's Boot Hill. Aventurine is again a maybe. It's a maybe. Uh, there's Firefly. 
I might actually get Huo Huo. Because honestly, I kind of had fun with um, Dumbo's as Huo Huo. Okay. Um, I don't know who else I'm gonna go for because, again, I, Kafka is also a maybe. I see. You, I remember you want like you 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 um spoke up about me possibly getting Sparkle because of Luna. I mean, yeah, because they are pretty good together. Yeah, because of her adding two more skill points in the mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely helps me at least. So yeah, I may not like her at all, but I might do that just for Luna. Because so far yeah. I've been I've been learning to like think carefully about how to use my skill points in fights. Um, all for all for um Luna, and the team, because I will say like I do bring Luna a, a lot. But there are just some fights when the enemy, like the main enemy, is not um imaginary, but the side enemies are. So during that time, I would not put Luna on skill point, um, like prioritize skill skill points on him. I would just make him like do just normal attacks, or just use one skill point, while the other characters do do take the skill points. Other thing. Yeah, so I always okay. I always think carefully about the skill points. I still need to work on Welt. I still don't know where I am. You're with apparently the IPC. Mom's with the Stellaron Hunters. Juvia's with the High Club Quintet. I have no idea where I am. Hmm. Maybe the Astral Express members? I don't know. I mean, right now, I have everyone built. Well, well, I need to fix up a little, but all of them are level 80 at least. Even though Preservation Trailblazer's not built, I am thinking of building her soon. Dumbo needs to build Physical <laughs> Trailblazer. Because he built um, Preservation, he did not build Physical. I built Physical, I did not build Preservation. <laughs> and both of us built Harmony, so... Fun! <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So, overall, for the Natlin stuff, I am intrigued. I am very intrigued. And of course, to the, the gentleman, Capitano, if he does become playable, I say it depends on his, uh, his kit. Because you know me. I, ha I don't really yeah. have a full direction of the other characters that I don't um, plan for. Like, you know again, Farina, I did not plan for. I got her an accident. Baiju, I did not plan for. I got an accident. Jian Yun, I got her an accident. With Mona. I still remember that day. I literally called SOS. <laughs> like, yeah. I, got, I got both Mona and Jian Yun. I just went to chat. I just wrote in chat. I was like, Dad, SOS, please. Yeah, I think I was doing exploring. So yeah, I, you were I, streaming as well. You were streaming the update as well. And then I just wrote SOS and you just went. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I mean, I did call for an SOS, and you came, and that, that, that's important. <laughs> so at least now I know, all I have to do is call for SOS when something bad happens. <laughs> yeah. But I think for me, I'll probably go with a Power Archon for Capitano. The... I forgot his name. Dendro guy. <laughs> The Geo Girl, and I'll probably go for March Genshin. What about the little Geo Girl from the beginning? I'm still thinking. We saw a little bit of her skill during the other trailer. Yeah, she has a she has um a, a mount. Yeah, I think it's going to be good for her exploration, but it makes me wonder if she's going to be a five star or not as well. Yeah, that's like that also, also like is going to affect. If you're going to get her or not. And I am very interested in uh, Cool Ajaw. Like, what is it? So you're basically going for Kanish, Kitali, um, uh, Ch uh, Chaska. I don't know about Mav Mavuika. Wait, no, not. Yeah, you're going for Mavuika because that is possibly the, yeah. the, the, the Pyro Archon. Jelonin. 
Mm-hmm. And um, again, Capitano. I am going for yeah. Kinish and Ororon. I don't know about the others. It's a maybe. Again, the Pyro Archon is also maybe because I did not expect to get Furry now. So right now, my streak is every Archon except Raiden. <laughs> Like I already, oh. I already have Zhongli in three point oh. I got Venti in three point one. I got uh, I think I got Nahida on her rerun. Hmm. I think it was. I already. Why are you pulling for her? Or no, no. I think I remember like. I think the first banner I did not pull for her. Like I was thinking about it, but I didn't. I I didn't go for her. But then when her rerun happened, me and Juvia were literally going up and down. I was also getting chests, and I got um, uh, Nahida first, before um, Juvia. And again, Farina, it was an accident. <laughs> Charlotte did not want to come home. <laughs> and again, I literally said, again, none of them were guaranteed. Like, Baiju, Farina... Jianyin? No, they were all 50-50s. Not guaranteed. And I was low on pity. Look what happened. <laughs> yeah. Kabe, uh, Kabe, Gaming, and, uh, and uh, Charlotte, they, they all hate me. Well, for Gaming, actually, I was, pull, uh, I was pulling for his uh, um, cons. I just did not expect to get Jianyin with Mona on the same temple. So, yeah, that, that, that was not expected. I still want Gaming to be C6. He is on the banner right now, but I don't want to. Oh yeah. Is he? Is he not on the bit on the current banner? I mean, I don't remember. Well, um, I don't think he is. Yeah, I remember. You, you pull for like everyone, and I remember like you gave everyone a Gaming. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I really do want him C6, but I'm gonna save my guarantee for someone I actually want. Meaning, I will sit through all of 4.8, not pulling. Though, I will be honest, I have been pulling on the weapon bed. <laughs> oh. I don't okay. know what happened with Chloron's, like, the weapon bed in between Chloron and all of them. I don't know what happened. Like, <laughs> like, 20, 26, 20, like, either 23 or 26. All of them's this weapon just came out uh, and whacked itself in my face. I did 13 pity later. Cloranza's weapon just came over and just looked at me and was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what happened there. <laughs> so the, the, yeah, so I'm probably like, going to save during the next version as well. I was thinking of maybe pulling, but I might save for Natla. I will after, say, like, Emily is though. interesting because, again, she's just twirling around her pole arm as if it weighs nothing. I like the pull arm though. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, the pull arm, pull arm looks very beautiful, but it's just that the way how Emily wields it. Like all the other characters who 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 also use pull arms, they look like their whole like the pull arm weighs at least a bit. But for some reason, when I look at Emily, it's like the pull arm did not weigh a thing. Possibly because the pull yeah. arm looks shorter when she's using it. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know why. The, from what I look like, like the pollen looks like a bit shorter when she's using it. But yeah, the pollen does look very pretty. It, it doesn't really fit her because she's ma mainly wearing green and white, but the pollen's all full white. Yeah. Or light blue, like a very very light blue at the at the fi at the at the finest. So yeah, four point eight plans. I say nothing. Maybe just. Maybe I might stop myself from doing those stupid wishes on the weapon banner like I'm doing right now. Mm. I see that you put my weapon banner on Farina's weapon. Because <laughs> I know I did not do that. I don't do that to the weapon banner. Like, I just leave it not um, determined. Like, just like the I'll hate them oh, and Chloran's oh, weapon. Like, if I like, did they it, I might have been like by, by reflex. Oh, by reflex. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I, don't mm. do, I don't set my weapon banner. So I was surprised when I just did silly wishes uh, during the um, last phase that I just got all hate thumbs as weapons like What are you doing here? And then I just got Chloron's as weapons like Okay, what what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> like I got all hate thumbs as weapon while I was hanging out with Maxi. 
I was in call with him. Like I just did the I just did silly a silly ten pull and I just got all his weapons was, was like I was literally laughing and he's like what happened? He's like I got all his weapons again. <laughs> and he's like Reina oh. And then for Cloranza's weapon, literally a like Reina. I think like less than twenty four hours before the banner left. And then I and and then um I went to your stream and I was like, Dad, something happened. He's like, you know what? How about we wait and then um and then I'll show you tomorrow. Yeah, I don't remember that one. So yeah, Boy, what um, happened? What did you do? Yes, which is why like I start. That's why I start the stream with my my um account. It's because I was trying to show off the weapon. It's like it's like okay, so this is what happened. Um, but you know how laggy the stream is. But so you can't look at stream. So Juvia has to look for you. And then Juvia's like, huh, oh, so that. So. And then she's like, wait a minute. How did you get Cloranza's weapon? I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I might just sit out 4.8. Like, again, Emily is interesting, but. This is what happens when you put um, characters at the very end of the update before we go to the next nation. Not many people is going to look at her. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Like, some might point. find her interesting, but mo most people are just going to save their Primo gems for Natlin. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe on her rerun, people might pull for her, but that is a big if. Yeah, because I think she's similar to uh, Chevreuse in a way, like, enables a different type of team, so she might be pretty fun to use. Mm -hmm. She's just, like, burning, basically. Yeah. All I know is I'm excited for 2.4's um, uh, special program for for uh, Star Rail. This war dance sounds um, sounds interesting. And plus, I'm pretty sure the people from Juming, like the delegation from Juming, aka Grandpappy Huayan and his beloved granddaughter Yun Li, came over with another Ooh. agenda, which is the Helio Bai situation from 1.5. Because again, Maxi is catching up. He hasn't t he hasn't done anything. Um, today he got sick, so he he did, he wasn't here for our usual meetup. So um. Oh okay. Yeah, he did one point five. He already finished it, and I re and because of him doing that, I was able to look through one point five again, and then rem and then Jingyi once spoke out about um possibly meeting up with people from Zhuming to talk about the Helio Bai situation. So I was like, now it makes sense. Like that's still a big if. We don't really know if they actually came there, for, uh, like came over for that. Like I'm pretty sure they only came over for the war dance. But maybe the Helio mm. thing might be the a side agenda because Jing Yuan likes to sneakily doing stuff. So who knows? Maybe him and General Huayan are actually talking about the Helio Bai situation while we focus on Yun Li and the whole war dance thing. Yeah. After all, it is said Yun Li and Yan Ching. <laughs> Is teaching March how to use a sword. Is this a good idea? Mm, yeah, we'll see. Time will tell. Somebody has been making art. I saw this one art where March is just showing off her sword, like her sword, like her sword fighting. She she cut off a bit of Don Hung's hair, and Don Hung and Kalis are just are just on the floor, scared of her. Mm. <laughs> because March was like swinging around the sword, she cut off like a, a bit of the front part of Don Hung's ear, like a little bit. So yeah, those two are just huddled up together and basically shivering to that, uh, shivering uh, f from fear. Oh boy. Yeah, fun. This has been going far off from what we're supposed to do, <laughs> and we already finished what we were supposed to do. But uh, yeah, so my last thoughts on Natlin just. In, very intrigued and in, currently already planned on two characters the rest are still uh, is basically still in discussion dad he's going for like what four characters I have I have a problem oh five <laughs> and I thought I would be the one to have the problem because again according to according to Nouvellet Natlin is basically um, full of dragon kind of people Wait, what if the ones with elf-like ears are part dragon? Yeah, well, I was actually was thinking that as well. Might it might maybe mean something? 
Really yeah. too dragon. Like, but again, this is not yet. the entire roster. There's many. There's could be like many others that are still not shown, and we will meet them. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But if there are actually more <laughs> dragon characters, it's like uh. Also, will we meet? Is there a possibility that the Sovereign of Pyro is around? Mm. We still don't know you who's know. the Sovereign of An uh, Animo and Geo, even though apparently we've met them. There was no confirmation of who's the Sovereign of Animo and Geo. I mean, we technically are meeting, like, one dragon per nation so far. Inazuma, no. There's no dragon in Inazuma. I mean, I mean, yeah, besides Inazuma. Inazuma, like, we saw only the corpse, supposedly, of the supposed dragon, I guess. But isn't, isn't that a giant is snake? I mean, they're just people speculating. Yeah. I'll say it's close enough. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, and um, Sumeru, we met a pep. A pep does not like us, mainly. He does not like Nahida. And a pep is not playable, that's to say. He's um, pretty chill so far. Maybe in the future, a pep decides to hide as a human and she becomes playable. That's also a possibility, but again, Hoyo, we're waiting for that day. Um, uh, of course, Fontaine, there's Nouvellette. So the thing is, will the will yeah. the sovereign of Pyro grace us, or are they dead? I love it. Will they grace us or dead? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a it's a genuine question. We have yet to meet the sovereign of 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 um, Electro, and apparently there is this possible war coming over for Inazuma. Like, what is going yeah, on? Like, war. Inazuma's been silent. Like, they've been trying to clean up from the whole... The Vision Hunt Decree. But no. We're getting, apparently, a war. Another war. I mean, I feel like that's war, like, more foreshadowing for the end. Like, end game. Not, like, necessarily just a Inazuma war. Yeah, I guess that's good. Uh, it's just the thing that I got with the whole thing. I know, but it's just that the way how Raiden was wording it... It sounds like the war is coming soon. I mean, they have an ongoing war game. that nobody knows of. It's a little bit surely get near the end game. Yeah. I wonder how it's gonna go at the end there. Like, is it really gonna be that to the point where the siblings have to fight? I think it's going to happen. I think I think we'll have at least one confrontation. Yeah, I guess. Also, is it just me, or is Zenless Zone Zero the only Hoyoverse game where the MC, like the MCs, are not actually there f f fighting? Like, even though is those two appear as a bamboo, they don't the really same. fight. They just wander around. I mean, we're not fighting. We're like just guiding them through the to the hollow, basically. So I guess for, for Zenless Zone Zero is the only game where the MCs are not actually doing the fighting. So far, all the other Hoyoverse games, the MCs are actually doing the fighting. You you don't count. You don't count. Uh, <laughs> Fears of Themis. Fears of Themis. The lady. Um, she's uh, basically an attorney. Yeah. When you have a sister who plays Tears of Themis, she gives you the plot for a certain like uh, just a good map plot. I don't know much about Tears of Themis. All she says is, "You're an attorney. You're just trying to solve this case, and there are also four guys going after you." Okay. That's all I got from her. I don't know much, but I say she doesn't really talk much about Theories of Themis to me because she knows I don't really know anything. She is a sim for one guy, though, in Theories of Themis. Hmm. She also has official merch that she won. Oh, she won? Yeah, she won official merch. For Apparently. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, I'm a bit jealous, but again, this is free merch is always really better than paid merch. Hmm. Free merch is always better than paid merch. Yeah, because it's free. You didn't lose money. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm a bit jealous that she won for like she got like she won the merch. We actually have to work tooth and nail just to get to that point. So yeah. I'm pretty sure everyone's yeah, hyped. Like I've... Genshin is possibly like dead for a bit for a while, but now Natlin has come uh, to to light. 
people are going to start going back to Genshin all because of Natlin. But yeah, overall, character designs, they're amazing. They're on point. Yeah. Anything else to say for this entire thing, Nat? Mm, not really. Not, not so far. So you have said your piece? Mm, I don't know what to say, though. I already said my piece. Mm. May may they gotcha gods have mercy on me and my wallet. You, you, do you even use your wallet for polls? I don't think you use your wallet for polls. You just do um bow pass. Um, do all only actually. I I use the battle pass once. Only I once. got two battle passes because of mom and auntie V. That's all. But I'll only be using money like like just for a character specifically. I just try my best. If I don't get it, I don't get it. It's okay. I don't use any money at all. You guys are just scary by being very generous. <laughs> Hence how I got Kazwa. Because Shane donated twice and mom donated once and I got Kazwa. After two jeans. <laughs> Basically three because a gene came out from the standard banner. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, basically I basically use no money. Yeah, I just worry in general about my primo gems. I, I at this point I like having like a good amount in reserve for whatever. I'm also reason. worried about my premium gems because what if one of them's a four star and they're they're just like they're just like Kave, Charlotte and <laughs> Gaming. <laughs> I just try my best. If it doesn't get it, I can get it later. Hopefully. I just want the character. Like, I just want the two gens. They look pretty cool, right. honestly. Is there one thing I want to say? Uh, there one thing I want to say. Where is Kave? Is Kave going to come back in 4.8? Or is, is missing action even in that one, maybe? Yeah, that's that the, thing, the only because, thing. Because, um, unlike Star Rail, they don't show the four stars for Genshin. Yeah, we'll have to wait. So guys, will Kaveh make his make his comeback from the Hoyoverse um, warehouse, or will we, he be we forever might as well lost? Say, like, is he going to like finally debut? Yeah, or appearance? will he forever lost himself in in the in the Sumeru rainforest and never comes back? Because I think so far Kaveh is the, uh, the, the only four star that has not arrived for this long, right? Like Kaveh is the only four star think... that has yet to have a, a rerun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see his birthday message by the way? I didn't read it, but yeah, I saw his birthday letter. I haven't read it yet. Yeah, I didn't. Re yeah, I, I read it like I read it, but I was just why like there's no like um like title. You just question mark. I was like, why are you trying to say game? Hey, he's, hey, I don't hey, think he means hey, anything. Hey, I'll hate the funny. same. He just has dots. No, it's just funny. Like question mark, question mark, question mark for for him all characters. This is missing for a while. Yeah, so this is the saddest birthday for Kave. No rerun for him. He is nowhere to be found. But I am still baffled that he and Alhatham can have a civil conversation without going at each other's throats. Again, this is what happens if you don't do Alhatham's story quest. Because when you get to sign those a second story quest, you just see these two conversing like civil people. I feel like I was not in the right universe. I think I, I was thrown into a fan fiction. Where these two are civil with each other. Our official fan fiction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like I, I for a moment I was like, am I am I in the right universe? Did I get thrown into a, a, a wormhole or something that I didn't know of? These two are civil. I this is not normal. <laughs> hmm. Hey again guys, this is what happens when you don't catch up with all of the content because again, I have a couple of story quests sitting in the sitting in the side catching dust. And when you do one that is not following the the timeline, you're lost. Again, I never knew Sorry. these two can have a civil conversation because so far, I've only seen these two bickering with each other. So this is not normal. But yeah, will Kaveh make a comeback or will he be forever lost in the Hoyoverse warehouse? 
Is there any other five stars that have yet to... That have yet... Uh, five stars. <laughs> four stars that hasn't been seen for a long time? I want to remember the top of my head right now. Yeah, Gao Ming's been here not uh, like le not as long as Kave, and he already has a rerun. Yeah. And it's not even a year since Gao Ming ever comes to light. Because Gao Ming came over on the same time as Jian Yun, but he already has a, a rerun. Kave came in 3.6 with Baiju. Baiju has a rerun. Kave is nowhere to be seen. Gone. Guy is nowhere to be found. Did he get lost in the desert again? Did the foxes run away with him? But enough of us rambling, because this recording has been going on for too long, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys whenever I start stream or the next video, which is possibly the, the uh, 2.4 special program. Unless Wi-Fi is godly nice that night, I might consider streaming 2.4 special program. If not, then it's just a recording. So yeah. Don't forget to like, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and ring that, that notification bell. Say bye, Dad. Bye. Links in the description below, guys. Bye. 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 And good luck to everyone. Yeah, good luck on your poll.